the sky blue. Have you ever looked up at the sky and thought, why is it blue? Why not green? Or purple? Or even rainbow colored like a unicorn's tail? Well, the answer has a lot to do with sunlight, the air around us, and a special kind of light dance happening high above your head. Let's float up into the sky and uncover the science behind its color. First things first, sunlight looks white, right? But it's not. It's actually made up of many colors. All the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These colors are part of something called the visible light spectrum, and each one travels in waves. Some waves are long, like red and orange. Others are short, like blue and violet. Now, when sunlight reaches Earth, it doesn't just shine straight through the air. It bumps into tiny things floating in our atmosphere, like oxygen and nitrogen molecules. This is where something cool happens. The shorter light waves, especially blue, get bounced around in all directions. This bouncing is called Rayleigh scattering. Sounds fancy, huh? Since blue light is scattered more than the other colors, it spreads all over the sky. And that's why we see the sky as blue. But wait, why blue and not violet, which has even shorter waves? Great question. It turns out our eyes aren't very good at seeing violet light, and a lot of violet gets blocked by the upper atmosphere anyway. So even though it's there, we mostly see that beautiful, soft blue. Now let's talk about sunsets. Why do they look orange, red, or even pink? Well, when the sun is low on the horizon, the light has to travel through more of Earth's atmosphere. That means even more scattering happens. And by the time the sunlight reaches your eyes, the blue has already scattered away, leaving behind the warmer colors like red and orange. Pretty awesome, right? So the next time you gaze up at a bright blue sky or a glowing sunset, remember, it's not just beautiful, it's science in action. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and remember, never stop learning. Subscribe to BrainSpark!